Gentlemen, it's time for a new community series, Kimichi Moonlit Fantasy. Thank God you guys voted for this because I was low-key getting a little bit sad because season two is airing right now and we haven't even watched season one. So I'm like, come on, I want to be on top of this trend too. But you guys voted it in. Let's watch it. People on Twitch right over here. We're watching here first. On the YouTube side, Mob Seca upload is still happening. But remember on Twitch, you get the early access. Free to play plus, in my opinion. Let's begin today's reaction. Truckun immediately! Or summoning. Kind goddess. So far, the goddesses we've seen recently are all fucking so mean. Like, I guess, uh, World's Finest Assassin, Konosuba, what else is there? Oh. Oh my goodness. That's a robot waifu there, too. Oh, okay. We already got some waifu introductions. These are all future shit to happen. So is this like a comedy anime? More than like a serious isekai? Misumi Makoto. Okay, he's still on Earth right now. Okay, okay. Totally normal kid. Dad's an author. Are we already getting transported? What just happened there? Like nothing just happened. We were just about to read a book and now he's in this different realm. Okay. He's asking us consent to be isekai? This is new. They? Who is they? Ruler of the realm of the night. Uh, okay. I don't know what a Skuyomi no Mikoto is, but probably some kind of like ancient folk, I don't know, mythological being. Japanese mythology, alright. No, I don't know shit. Tell me, explain. What? Is that, is that why the dad basically writes fantasy novels? Because he's just reliving, he's just writing all the fucking shit that he's lived through? Oh, okay, they're already isekai parents. Okay, they have two sisters. Parents and a contract. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, okay, he cares about his sisters a lot. Big sis and little sis. <laughs> I felt this post. So basically, this is our equivalent of reincarnate as a slime where we tell Tamado, hey, please destroy my hard drive. So this guy is basically just going to destroy all the porn we have. Okay, and the figurines too. All right, thank you, man. Thank you. We don't want our sisters finding that out. Cool, cool. <laughs> thank you. Dude, his hair's so long. What power do we get? So maybe we have a bitchy goddess? Okay. How ridiculous is she? Oh, bye-bye. Two waiting rooms, interesting. She is blindingly bright. Did she just say my Hyumans? Yeah. My Hyumans. Human, okay. Why are you in a puddle? She's already fucking roasting us. Like, we just met. She immediately starts fucking laughing. Are you really there, Chasso? The parents are probably giga chat, but the son probably doesn't look, you know, like, like the role. All right. We're about to get fucking roasted by her. Damn, girl! What the 
Wow. I think of all the goddesses we've seen from Isekai, she might be the fucking worst. The absolute bitchiness of this girl. I, I think she is like the, the highest tier bitchiness of the goddess that we've seen in Isekai. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Even her voice is ugly? The annoying thing is she's so fucking hot. God damn it. God damn it! There's a lot of guys that enjoy this service, dude. You think that this is a roasting session? There's a lot of guys that wish that were that was getting, you know, cussed out, you know, by pretty women like this that just kinda talk shit at you. There's a lot of guys like that. <gasps> Other than the human language? Ow! That's... Damn! Damn! Dude, she's so mean! Now, this could go two ways, right? You're gonna probably think that, oh, the goddess is such a bitch. She is. And she just gave us the most useless power because we can't converse to other humans. But think about it. Think about it. Think about it. This skill could be actually fucking broken. Because now we can basically talk to everyone else but humans, right? The common tongue we can probably learn later on. But being able to converse with all these different monsters, this is not a skill that anybody can have, right? So being able to already do this, I think, is like a huge dub disguised as an L. <laughs> Oh, he... this, this guy has her back still, right? Okay. The goddess is about to fucking make us drop and die there. You're still gonna drop me? Your magic powers and physical body were under considerable strain back on the real world. Strain. We were we were completely nerfed. Like, like fucking weights that we were having. Okay, but you should be quite powerful. Just by being on Earth, we're just suppressed. But in this world, our limiter is gone. Okay. You can die though. Is there resurrection spells or no? Yeah, you're buzzing. Communication. Did bro do this just for us? So he fucking has to sleep for a couple hundred years again now, but he only did this just to talk to. Uh, he's a, he's a nice guy, right? This guy is actually super nice. The girl is a the goddess is an absolute bitch, but the god is very nice person. We're not even a hero, dude. Freedom. We can do anything. So like, maybe we'll meet him again. But like, okay, we should we should be fine even if we fell. Oh, but the physical, yeah, yeah, his durability is okay. It's pretty OP. He doesn't really have a mission though to like kill the demon lord, huh? He's just living here, being free. Yeah, I mean, you're still able to move without eating for three days. That's impressive. You might actually go crazy at this rate. You gotta walk more to get to the tutorial village. Waifu. Who is it? Miyuki's voice actor, by the way. So the pig in this show is voiced by Miyuki, who says Onisama. What in the fuck? All right, let her cook. Let her cook. What? All right. Maybe he'll eat the pig after because he's so hungry. See, he can already talk to them, right? Yeah, he can already talk to them. We can hear their language too. Oh! Oh! I mean, 
he did say we were being restrained on Earth. I didn't realize this is how strong we were, though. So, bro's physical strength, I'm, we, there isn't a good reference point yet. We don't really know other people in this show, but this two-headed monster thing, instant death. Instant fucking death with the flying kick. Okay, okay. Uh... Alright, he's super strong. Oh, she's scared. <laughs> the wall bang technique. His physical strength is busted. Remember what the goddess said. You can talk to them. I guess he didn't pay attention. Yo, I'm hungry for some bacon. <laughs> Poor girl. Yeah, where the food at? So we're already landed in just like the wasteland. All right, no humans around us. She straight up dropped us in the worst possible place. Okay, she's, a, she's an orc named Emma. I can definitely hear Miyuki there, yep. Divine Mountain. Sacrifice to the ship. So many new things going on, okay. So first thing my man has to do is clear the fog. She's so nice. Yeah. Sama? What do you mean not a, what a nice floral spell? There's no way he actually falls in love with her, right? Like, I... I... Why are they giving her such pretty little lashes and fucking little petals happening everywhere? No way, right? <laughs> what are we fucking doing here, bro? Is she really just the main... No, there's two other girls! There's like a dragon girl and a fucking spider girl, right? <laughs> No, we didn't kill Emma. This is Emma. No, 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 no. We did not to barbecue her. Okay, okay, chill the fuck out. Chill the fuck out. Okay, okay, okay. Humans are violent and evil? Interesting. Sounds like humans are just like evil in this world, huh? And she can use magic. So like the monsters are the good people in this show and the humans are the bad people? Not yet. I, I can't believe she's just a main character here now. She's just... This, this whole ass pig is just... Alright. Cool. But he can talk it, right? Burrito. Boom. And no one said there was an intro like that. He only had to say burrito. Oh, it's bigger too. It's pretty big. Fireball. Think of some crispy bacon. Alright. So he's super gifted based on Emma's reaction. There's a level system in this world too. Oh, more pigs. What level is he? Probably like level one, right? It sounded like level one or like level nine, nine, nine. Implying that if he can already do this shit at level one, imagine what he can do in future levels, right? So this is already huge. What the fuck? They ignore us? <laughs> they did not give a fuck as soon as we're level one. Okay. Yeah, and the level cap, I don't know, they mentioned 300, so is that the level cap? Who knows? Does the gods also have levels? Who knows? Oh? We just left? Oh, maybe he's gonna go to the mountain by himself and... Yeah, the sacrifice thing. I think I missed something really important there. I was able to read that list of spells and write it. Okay, no, we're just going back to the whole, like, he can converse with monsters and other things. Not just the common tongue. Who is this Shin person, though? 
一戦交えることも考えて練習しておくかうんブリッドファイアアンよし栄称は口に出さなくてインカンテーションレスオッケーイガインカンテーションレスマジック And he's already forming it into fucking weapons. I feel like you shouldn't. Wait, wait, wait. You shouldn't do that, right? Bro is fucking on episode one going Fuga. Fucking Skuna did the What the fuck? This is episode one. Holy shit. All right. Like, you shouldn't shoot at that, right? I feel like that's such an important thing. Like, ah, are you sure? Are you sure? Alright! Did it do damage? Damn! Wait! It looked like it took it and it kind of like pushed out the magic away. Never mind. I was talking a lot of bullshit. It's gone. It's fucking gone. You destroyed like a historical landmark, right? And the nearby goblin things. So we basically destroyed Shin's home. Well, I don't know what the Shin thing is. Is it an actual person? Red mist. Shin. Ooh. No, no, no. That, that's a Shin. This is a Shin. Dragon, but isn't one of the waifus a dragon and the other one is like a spider thing from the opening, right? Wait, wait, okay, it's an actual huge threat though. Level one, first day, fighting a dragon. What is this? Future Sight? He has Future Sight too? Alright. No, you're fucking reading ahead. What is that? How does he have this? The fuck? What does Kuyomi give us? I actually don't remember. I thought he was just like, alright, you're free now. He. he, he the, the god does say, I'll give you every power I can. No, he did say that in the beginning before we went to the god. It was just not defined. So we have like this eye to basically have like future sight, kind of? <laughs> oh, 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 shit, we can just form multiple of those. <laughs> you just said, huh, Brit, it does nothing. <laughs> uh, one punch! <laughs> He's a level one adventurer. <laughs> Alright, we just barehanded defeated a dragon. I'm expecting the dragon to turn into the wifey, though. <laughs> Drown in happiness. <laughs> just this daily life. Uh, uh, all right, we're back to daily life again. Confession? Oh, she stacked. Wait, confession scene? The fuck? Yeah. It's because you complimented her. A confession already? Okay. Damn! Yo, Misumi is getting shed! Hi. You're alright. Uh, deny her. And she's taller too. Dude, she's fucking taller too. You got a younger girl coming at you like they're calling you senpai and she's taller, bro. And she's. Uh, come on. This guy's living the fucking dream. Oh. Oh no. Uh, a little forceful. Uh, when the fuck did the t-shirt become? What? Wh when did this wet t-shirt happen? What the fuck? Oh, this is Shin looking into her pa uh, past. But but this is something interesting here. The mom and the dad, right? So this is the mom and the dad. This is sister. I don't know who this character is? She seems pretty kind of important though, huh? I mean, maybe it's a he. Okay, look at some eye scars. Oh. oh. 
We got the wet t-shirt again. This memory. What's the fuck? Did you make her cry? Dude, she is so fucking bipolar! Oh, maybe it was the poor Meg. <laughs> Nukumi. Okay, sure, okay. Yeah, it's fake. You know it's fake. Oh, what really happened was... Bro denied her? Yo, wait! He's actually looking pretty serious now! This is some main character shit, okay? I could create a semi-circular area of myself and manipulate this. What do you mean manipulate the space around this? So he's got like the eye technique. Remember from the god that, that he can kind of see like maybe future sight. He can create some kind of barrier, manipulate the space. And then... I kind of didn't understand that barrier power. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. For example, I can search the area without being noticed. So basically, it's just domain control. It's just like you can do anything. Okay. Sure. And he's just super strong, yeah? Dragon's actually so happy about this, man. Yeah, what did you find? Did she actually find a porn? Did, 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 did she want us to rubber belly? That's... What are you, what are you doing? What? She liked the dog? Huh? What did she see though to get all so excited though? Other than the dog to show submission. Contract? Uh, uh, okay. Both parties are empowered depending on each other's relative strength. Companion. Sure? What did she see in the memory specifically that's getting her so worked up? I don't get it. I like to think it's the porn legs. Yeah, what did you see? <laughs> Alright, it's a secret. Contract with the dragon right away. 50-50? for him. 80-20. So 80% of us, 20% of her, not like an equivalent, you know, deal? I don't know. Master? All right, here he goes. It's kind of, the, the voice was a little obscure, but you could definitely tell it's like a female voice. And based off of the opening, there was like a dragon waifu, right? She's so fucking hyped about this. There's our waifu, man. Now, I feel like obviously this is an actual human looking girl compared to the pig. But we also have the spider girl to look forward to. So wait, hold, hold. Cool beauty. Is she a fucking weeb? It, well, we do have a lot of novels and stuff too. What if she's a fucking weeb? Even the fact that she's like a samurai. She's just wearing Japanese clothing. She's straight up just being a weeb. Okay. beauty. Alright, we got a weeb samurai waifu now, guys. That's the episode. A very interesting isekai for sure. Immediately, you're just kind of thrown in with like the breaking the fourth wall of ha ha ha, truck coon, ha ha, shitty go goddess, you know, of ha ha ha, you know, save the fucking village from the demon lord. 
but it's not at all generic. So the parents are already isekai characters. There's this god. We have state. We have two waiting rooms, right? So usually we just go into the first waiting room, get the powers, and get the fuck out. But this guy is actually super nice. He actually apparently used up an energy so much that he has to sleep for a couple centuries, which kind of sucks. I like to see him again. He'll show up again, right? And then this goddess, dude, she is so... Okay, the, the deleting of the content here is actually kind of funny. They they did this in Slime. I wonder what other isekais they've done this, where it's like, oh, please delete my internet browsing history, but ha ha ha, funny. And the goddess, I want to hate her, but you can kind of tell that she's super hot, you know? So it's like... <sighs> Bitchy hot girls, man. It's it's a it's a deadly combo. I can't really hate her on it just yet. I don't know why she hates it so much. Is it truly just because we're that ugly? What the fuck? But I still feel like the power that she gave us with the able the ability to basically talk to any monster, right? Just anything but the common tongue. I think that's gonna be extremely useful. It already is because we're able to talk to the pig, you know, and we're able to talk to the orcs, right? And the dragon too. So I'm sure this is gonna come in super handy. And the opening also showed like a spider waifu too, meaning we can talk to the spider waifu, right? So all these things, all these skills that we thought were useless is actually super OP. And it doesn't really matter because the god already gave us OP skills, right? Like we can, like not only the skills, but immediately we're like super strong because on earth, Magic and shit is like, I don't know, for some reason, it's pretty much just like having on like super weights on. In this world, we're already physically gifted. And on top of that, he gave us skills where we can basically fucking use barriers. It's like a little domain that we can control anything in. The eyes of foresight that can see through the... Well, he was kind of anticipating the dragon's moves, right? The pink girl, Emma... I'm a little conflicted because, you know, you don't really expect a waifu to be a pig, especially not with Miyuki's voice from your regular Magic High School, but it, it is what it is. And we got the dragon waifu. The... I don't know what this anime is about. Like, are we, are we just here to fuck around? Like, don't, we don't really have a goal, right? Because the goddess didn't even send us here to, like, kill the demon lord or something. It's just like, ew, get the fuck out of my face, right? So it's like, it's very interesting so far. I'll say that for sure. And we have a we have entire season to farm. I think we're going to be able to get this done in roughly about, like, a week and a half, two weeks. Then we get into season two, which is already airing right now. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time. Take care.